I just built a process that creates me 50 pieces of content in under 10 minutes, all based on my ideal client's problems or questions. And in this video, I'm gonna give it to you for free. I'm gonna give you the exact chat GPT prompt to use. I'm gonna give you four plug and play Canva templates, and I'm gonna give you the whole process on a Miro board too. So if you want it for free, hit the link under the video. But first, let me show you how it works. Okay, so this is the Miro board you are gonna get access to, and it's made up of the source of content or the source of the idea, the prompt, and then what we do in Canva afterwards. So there are a few different steps you need to follow, and I'm gonna walk you through them very, very quickly. So first, if we look at the content source, there are loads of different places you can get ideas from or dump your ideas. It might be a WhatsApp group with yourself. It might be that you post them on LinkedIn or threads. It might be that you type them out in your Apple Notes. Alternatively, it could be Fathom call transcripts, which is exactly what I'm gonna work on here because it means we're pulling questions from either sales calls or client calls and we're able to make sure that the content we create is directly in line with what our clients either want, need, are struggling with, or have questions about. So I'll do this for you live in a second, but first, here is the prompt. It's saying that we've got a transcript from a recent group call. Your job is to provide a table of quotes or talking points that I can paste directly into Google Sheets. It must contain at least 50 rows. It should be bold, hard-hitting, educational, or motivational. Please don't hallucinate. Don't make up what you think's in the transcript. Actually pull stories, etc., from it. All right, then once we've got that, we're gonna download the CSV. If we need to reformat it, there's another quote here. Then we're gonna tweak it, all right? Then finally, I'm gonna give you the Canva templates that you can either turn into singles, carousels, tweets, or reels. We're gonna upload as a bulk import every single one of the quotes. We're gonna tweak the design, we're gonna download them, and we'll have 50 plus pieces of content. Ready? Let's hop in. So here I am inside Fathom. This recorded a group call that I held with our C2C clients about an hour ago, and I'm just gonna get the transcript, all right? I'm gonna click copy. Next, I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT, and I'm just gonna paste the transcript in there. Now we need to go back and get the prompt. So coming back to the Miro board, all I'm gonna do is copy the prompt from here, go back to ChatGPT, make a bit of space, and paste the prompt in, then press upload, or whatever it is. ChatGPT is doing its thing, just pulling out some quotes. And here we go. As you'll see, it's given us 50 quotes from a group called stuff that I've said or very close to what I've said. And it's also given it to us in a CSV. So I can click that and download it. Now you'll see it's done some weird stuff. So what I actually need to do is feed ChatGPT a follow-up prompt, which is underneath the main prompt in the Miro board. So I'm just gonna come here, highlight this and copy it. Now I'm hopping back into ChatGPT and just pasting it in. Again, ChatGPT is quickly just doing its thing. And as you'll see, it's clean the CSV here. And as we can see here, it's perfectly formatted. We just might want to change some of the language in case ChatGPT's made any mistakes. But once we're happy with it, we come back to our workflow and we are going to set up our templates. Now, when you click that link, you'll be able to click edit template. And what it's going to do is open this up for you. All right, nice and simple. I've given you four templates. You probably want to put your own picture there and um, put your own here. Again, change this one. We might just want to mess around with some of the backgrounds and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna go with a really simple one, so I'm just gonna use this, all right? So what you need to do is put your own picture in here and delete any that you are not using. Once we've added the picture, we may wanna change this font. I actually use a different font, so oh, let's just go for Montserrat as an idea. May wanna mess around with some of the spacing and stuff like that, just whatever. Just make sure it's laid out in a fashion that you are happy with, there or thereabouts. Then we're gonna come here and scroll down to bulk create and we are gonna click upload data. After that, we just upload the CSV file that we got from ChatGPT. Then we click on the main area of text and click connect data. We just put quote or click quote here and then click continue. What this is gonna do is create 50 slides for us all in this format, but with our various quotes, so 53 designs, and we click this generate 53 designs here. You will see one design created and saved to your projects. So we can view it in folder, and here we are. Now, this may not look as nice as you want it to, so you might just have to just mess around with some of the formatting. Um, I mean, that one doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look great. So I will probably just enter some lines down and start messing about with things. Now, obviously, if you wanted to add in more here, like your website or your name or a different picture or whatever, you do that at the level before this. But ultimately, you just go through these and make sure that you're happy with each one. Obviously, you'll end up with some crap in here. So if you want to, you can just delete them. When you're ready, you can click share, click download, 
um, put the file size or picture size up and download all of these, put them out whenever you want. So there you go. That's how you create 50 pieces of content in under 10 minutes. If you want all the prompts, the templates and the Miro board, hit the link under this video and you will get it delivered to your inbox in seconds. If you're watching this on YouTube, you may want to check this video out next because it's an absolute banger and I go into a lot more detail about content and content strategy on LinkedIn. If you're watching it on LinkedIn, there will be no video there. So go and download some free stuff from my featured section. Thank you. Goodbye.